Java comes with a lot of libraries, and we're using a few right here. We're using a rectangle and point. I think point's a little more simple. So if I right click on point and go navigate, you can go to the source, control shift B. So it's wherever it was uh, defined. And this right here is going to uh, come with your Java install. It tells you uh, what package it's in right here. I don't expect you to understand uh, a lot of this code. For example, extends, we're gonna look at that later and implements, so we'll look at that later also, but public class point, you've seen that. It's got a public integer x and y. And somewhere up here is public points called a constructor. We'll see that soon. Also a constructor, also a constructor. We use the one that gave an x and a y coordinate. And uh, I don't think we use any of the other methods, but here's all the methods uh, around. Now, if you're wondering what's this dot x, it means the x that, uh, that this class has, meaning the one that's uh, way up at the top right up here, one that's available uh, to the point. So we'll study this soon enough. But you can do that with any, you can do it with the drawing panel, although I brought that code in myself, but you can go to the source, it'll open that up. Uh, you can do the same thing for a rectangle. Uh, using a scanner, uh, math, or random, any of those, you can just right click on them and go check out the source. You can navigate them to uh, on your computer, but I'd just check out the source inside NetBeans, kind of format it nicely and make it uh, easy to read. You're not allowed to edit any of this stuff, so you can hit buttons, but it's not going to actually edit for you. And there's a little ping in my he uh, headphones. So yeah, you can't edit this source code. You can copy it, paste it, and make your own, uh, but you can't edit the one that's already in the library.